Go ye forth of Babylon, flee ye from the Chaldeans with a voice of singing, declaring ye, tell this, utter it even to the end of the earth, say ye, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, have redeemed his servant Jacob. All praises to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom, salutations to the Hopeful elect that's fighting a good fight of faith and true sincerity. Ask that he give us the spirit of endurance. And um the voice of singing. You know, when you out here preaching, because these scriptures is a song, man. And it's a great song for the elect. You know, something that we aspire to be every day, being diligent, making our calling and election sure. You know, um, through the internet, this truth is able to go to the ends of the world, you know, and you know what the scriptures say in Matthew 24 and 14, this gospel must be preached to the four corners of the earth and then the end shall come. Gathering his elect from the four winds of the earth. And I'm very, very grateful that of the Lord's mercy. So this is what this video is going to be about. Basically giving us away in a damn desert, man. This wilderness. At one point in time, we ain't have no way. We ain't know what the hell was going on. We didn't even know who we were. And now, through the grace and mercy through his Holy Spirit that he sent down, that he put on certain men, and then those men taught other men, and then those, those men taught other men, and now it's like a whirlwind. You know, that's why you can never, ever be proud, because, you know, people be acting like they grew up calling themselves a Hebrew Israelite. They, they came out the womb praising Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. These are things that you had to be taught. And, you're, and, and the Lord is the one that have to open your ears. He the one that gives the increase. So it don't matter how much a man teach you or tell you. The Lord is the ones that seal your instructions. To, that open your eyes. That open your ears. So 21, 48 and 21. And they thirsted not. When he led them through the deserts, he caused the waters to flow out of the rock for them. Now, what do the waters symbolize? This truth. All right. How can a man cleanse his way? By the washing of the a word. All right. So this word is what wash you. This word is symbolized as water. And he gave us water through the through the deserts, all right, where we was in a barren land with no truth, no guidance. The Lord could have left us for dead. Thank Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, that he's not a liar, because he said that he was going to. He told Abraham that he was going to bless his seed, and we're coming to that time. So he said he caused the waters to flow out of the rock for them. He claved the rock also and the waters gushed out. See, now this truth is flooding the world and the enemy is very upset. That's why he tried to silence, you know, your speech. He writing all these um laws to basically to take away your first amendment because now Esau is bare. And everybody calling him out, really the Hebrew Israelites, but you even got his own people calling him out. Everybody see who Esau is and what he's all about. So now, you know, I had a strike for a week. That's the reason you haven't seen me for a week. And. But a whole bunch of abomination. You could have you could have um same sex things on the internet but when you come out about the truth they'll take your video down 
call it hate speech, things like that. But that's how graceful Yahweh Bashimi Havashah is, man. In the desert land, he gave us water, man. That's beautiful. We was thirsty, and now we're full. Now we just got to continue to fight the good fight of faith. You know? So you're supposed to separate yourself from this world. That's the sacrifice. A lot of people don't want to sacrifice it. People want to be um, loved. But that's why the scriptures say this. Why trimmest thou thy way to seek love? Therefore hast thou also taught the wicked one thy ways. Because when you don't reprove, all right, as the scripture said, if you warn not my people, then their blood is going to be on your hands. So all we supposed to do is go out, declare this word to whoever is meant for, which is the Israelites. But Israelites is not just looking like John Shaft. You got so-called white looking Israelites. All right. So you supposed to go out there and tell them the word and the Lord do the rest. But that's making your hands clean. You don't want all that blood on your hands. So it say, why is trimming style that way to seek love? See, I mean, who wants to be hated? But that's the job that you signed up for. So you got to know. What this truth is about before you try to come in it. That's why the scripture talks about examining yourself to see whether you be in the faith. And or in any in the scriptures talks about count the costs. Matter of fact, I haven't read that in a long time. I don't know. Uh I think it's Ooh, I haven't read this in a long time. Nope. That is a good one. I'm going to read it anyway. And Yahweh said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of the Most High. Because, you know, when you come into this thing, you get a lot of flack. You get a lot of trials and tribulations when thou comest to the Lord, prepare thy soul from temptation. So when you try to do good, your flesh is trying to pull you back, you know, because that's the sacrifice. That's the fight. And it's a heavyweight fight. And the opponent is not no pushover. This is, this is, we're going back old school. This is 15 rounds of straight trying to knock each other's head off. All right. You going against the demons, you going against the flesh, Satan trying to mess with you, your family trying to come against you. So you, you in a hell of a fight. That's why the reward is so big. Eternal life? Everlasting joy? Spiritual power? Beautiful women that, that, that's not going to be looking at nobody but you and want to serve you? She. That's a hell of a deal. That's why the scripture says. Why do it do that? I don't know why I do that sometimes. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. And that's everything that I name. Eternal life. You got the wicked. He's trying to have a false salvation with his technology. He's trying to make a man live forever. I read an article a while back. Talk about that his technology can make a man live to like 400, 500 years. The Lord already did that. The oldest man that ever walked this earth was Methuselah. He was 969 years old. He lived almost a full day. All right. Second Peter 3 and 8 said that a day to the Lord is a thousand years and a thousand years a day. For if you ain't understand what I was just saying. But, um. But yeah, the, the but going back to the to the water in the um in the in the in the desert, 
you know, because this place is considered a desert because this was a place where there was no water for the Israelites. This was a place where we were supposed to die of thirst. But the, through his grace and mercy, he gave us water in the desert, man. He gave us water in the desert when he didn't have to. We the one that broke the covenant. We the one that was wicked. We the one that served other gods. We the ones that thought that we knew what the hell we was doing. That we don't need Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh And a lot of people going to find out the hard way. Because those same spirits is back. All of them actually. Even the ones who pierce your how about Shimmy how man. That's a Revelation 1 and 7. Even those who pierce him, he's coming back angry. So now we're supposed to take this water, man, and stay full. They didn't want to make this video too long. I just want to really talk about the grace and mercy. And when you sit back and think about it, he gave us water in the desert, man. We was supposed to die of thirst. And if that don't hype you up, if that don't make you happy, then you in the wrong business. Because this ain't the job for a person that's going to be ungrateful. Because even though you go through shit, the Lord said you was. But the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in us. The whole creation, you know, is waiting. For us to be in our glory. So all the people who hate us. All the people who say this is hate speech. The same people that say this is hate speech. is the same people that put these people in slavery. Hypocritical nation as the scripture calls them. But hopefully this video was edifying. And Shalom.